Hey guys, so this video builds on the previous one, which was talking about converting data types in pandas. Um, if you haven't already watched it, um, you can go back and watch it and kind of get some context about what we're doing. Specifically, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the converters argument in read.readcsv, which can be really useful, and how to create functions that can go into it. Let's take a look. Uh, so there's a property in, in read read CSV that is called a converter. And what a converter does is it takes the column name and then it takes a function that is like an apply function and it applies your function to every value um, to every column that you give it. Oftentimes, rather than having to, you know, write, like, for example, a big line of code, you know, rather than having to, to, to write all this stuff, dot growth, dot strip, dot blah, 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 blah. It can be nice to just define a function that you're going to feed it like kind of like this lambda right here like you're just going to you, you know anytime you feed it uh, a string for example that has a percentage sign it's just going to spit out uh, the properly formatted flow so let's call our function p to f right percentage to flow and what we're going to do is we're going to take a percent string percent string all right and then all we're going to do is that we're going to return um, that percent string uh, stripped to it, stripped of its of its symbol. But then, and then when we do that, we're gonna turn that into a float. Float. And then after we turn it into a float, we're gonna divide it by 100. All right. Pretty simple. Um, now also let's define our month num to a name. And we're going to take in a month num. All right. Um, and here we can put in a little doc string, uh, which we're going to say indexing starts at one. And also it assumes calendar library is imported. Lab. And this is just this is a doc string so that when someone's calling up your function or when you're calling up your function, you can have a little bit more information about it. Uh, and similarly, it's just a one line function. Return calendar dot month abbreviation um, int month num. So potentially month num can be coming in as a string. Um, and what we don't want to happen is for it to just spit out an error. It's like can't can't look up a uh, month abbreviation of this string, right? So we're going to turn it into an int if applicable. And then in our case, you know, we also want to add one because our CSV has uh, a zero zero index. All right, so we define those functions. Now check it out. So uh, we'll do the same thing. Temp CSV2 using the IO library, and we'll do DF2. We'll create our second DF equals pandas dot read csv and we'll call it temp csv2 right well we're going to use that file and again our separator another word for or another key argument for for, for separator is delimiter delimiter um, which again is our white space at least one white space now here's here's where the magic happens Converters, right? Converters is a, a dictionary type, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to name our column type, so or our column. So we have a growth column, right? And the function we want to apply to it is p2f, right? So when it reads in the growth, it, we're going to apply p2f directly to it. And similarly, when we read in the month column, we want to apply month num to name. Month, not month name. All right, and we'll run that. Oh, we got an error. Oh, and that's because it's a dictionary, right? So you gotta put in those colons. Oh, we got another error. All right, what's another error? What, what's what's the error here? String object has no attribute string. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Oh, 
this is the culprit right here. So I was supposed to say it was strip. All right. So now we named that, and now we're going here. Okay. So let's see if it worked. Let's see what the two is all about. Hey, look at that. January through December, and we're given these things. So again, this is a nice way of avoiding repeating yourself. Um, if 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 you have like multiple columns that are formatted incorrectly, you in the or in, they're formatted in the same way, but you want to change all of them then you can define a function for how you want to format it and then call that function uh, using your converters just as, as you're reading the CSV. Um, so I hope, hope this was useful. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. And thank you.